A new documentary on Walmart creating a firestorm of controversy before it even is seen. It's called Walmart, the high cost of low prices. And it accuses Walmart of treating its employees unfairly, destroying communities throughout the country, all in the name of cheap Chinese goods. To even use American with, with Walmart in the same sentence, just, just I, I don't agree with it all. It's... It's like a Chinese company to me, only with American board members. Walmart calls this film propaganda. I'm now joined by Robert Greenwald. He's the producer, the director of the film. Thanks for being here, Robert. A pleasure. The, the, the motivation for this film, uh, you, you ran into somebody, and, and what happened? It was a neighbor of mine who'd just been hired. He was got a job at Walmart, and I congratulated him, saying, that's great, you'll be able to get health care benefits. And he said, well, no, and he explained, I don't remember the precise words, but he basically said, it's too expensive and it's too difficult. But then he said to me totally sweetly, but those nice managers are helping me fill out forms so I can get state aid. And I said, wait a minute, the state, California this right. is, is going to pay for your health care and you're working at Walmart, a corporation that made $10 billion in profit? How prevalent is that? Very, very prevalent. We have managers in the movie, between them 46 years working at Walmart, they tell story after story after doing it. This is systemic. This is not the rotten apple theory that Walmart would try to convince us of. Let me read to you the Walmart statement. We asked them for a statement uh, in celebration of your appearance here this evening. <laughs> Uh, they said, Mr. Greenwald's video is a one-sided propaganda piece designed to advance a narrow special interest agenda. Uh, in the trailer alone, Greenwald makes three major errors in only three minutes. The fact is Walmart saves working families hundreds and even thousands of dollars. Uh, we believe the positive experiences of the 100 million Americans who shop our stores every week speaks volumes more than this video. How do you react? Well, it's pretty great that they can call a film that they haven't seen propaganda, number one. They've not seen it. Number two, I asked Lee Scott, CEO of Walmart, to right. be in the film. I asked him twice. He refused twice. Then I said I would publish all of his you text and I, by on the way, website. are in good, good company. Uh, we have asked Lee Scott to join us on this broadcast. Uh, I have had, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, I've had dinner with the man. Mm -hmm but he has never agreed to be on this broadcast. Well, maybe he'll have dinner with me if he won't have me well, he in the movie. <laughs> but what we did... Well, I'd much prefer, candidly, <laughs> to have that he be on the broadcast. Yeah. But what we did, after he refused to be in the film, and he doesn't know this yet, and maybe tonight will be the time he'll find out, we use clips of Lee Scott, so he's become our narrator for the movie. Well, as, a, as you look at this, I mean, what is your reaction to, to Walmart? Because Walmart, of course, talks about the fact that they have the lowest prices, uh, they're boffo. Uh, how do you respond to that? I've spent the year, seven days a week, literally working on this film. And the stories I've heard, the personal stories, are really quite devastating. It goes against everything that I believe and I believe most Americans believe and care about. They're destroying families. They're destroying communities. They're destroying jobs. They have a very serious problem because they have two huge groups that they're alienating workers and then families all around the country. Now, uh, the alienation, uh, what bothers me in point of fact uh, here is uh, that Walmart will not come on this broadcast and discuss th these issues that we raise, which our particular focus uh, in, in point of fact is on uh, the well-being of the community, the well-being of the middle class of this country. Uh, and there's some serious issues in terms of the Chinese products that they, uh, they're the third largest export market for China. Uh, what is what is the cultural uh, what makes this culturally possible for a Walmart to succeed with the strategy that it employs? Well, I think it's a culture that's based, I mean, there's two issues. One is they do have a very good and efficient distribution system. But there's a culture, sadly, that says it's okay to get every nickel out of everybody. And at a certain point, when you care about your country, you ask a question, when, does, when is it greed? That's a, that's a question we're asking, too. $100 billion dollars the family has, the Walton family, $100 billion. When is it greed is a question that's being asked uh, all too often in this country daily. Robert Green, we thank you very much for being here. Uh, we look forward to the film. Thank you. Thanks.